Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in real data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding election results, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. This question has been asked in Google and Deloitte interviews, and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, or ML engineer interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, the election is conducted in a city and everyone can vote for one or more candidates or choose not to vote at all. Each person has one vote, so if they vote for multiple candidates, their vote gets equally split across these candidates. For example, if a person votes for two candidates, these candidates receive an equivalent of 0.5 vote each. So the value of vote is basically one divided by the total number of people that particular person voted for, right? So if I am person and who is voting for, let's say person A, and that is the only person I vote for, then the value of that vote is one. If I vote for A and B, then the value of vote is 0.5 and 0.5, right? Find out who got the most votes and won the election. So most votes by value, this means. Output the name of the candidate or multiple names in case of a tie. To avoid issues with a floating point error, you can round the number of votes received by a candidate to a three decimal places. Okay. So we are given a data frame called voting results and expected output is a panda series with the, you know, the person which has the maximum value of the vote, right? Sometimes this, the language of this question, uh, you know, can be confusing, but it is find out who caused the most value of the vote, right? Uh, and then if you look at this data frame voting results, so there are only two columns, the voter and the person that they voted for. And if it is null, then obviously they voted for no one. But if you look at this uh, table, right? So it seems that Kathy did not vote for any particular candidate. But if you scroll down, right? So you will find that, okay, Kathy did vote for few few people, right? So if you look at it, right? So Kathy did vote for a person named Kathy or, you know, uh, Kathy vote for, voted for Ryan. Uh, Nicole, etc. Christine. So yeah, I mean, you can have these, right? So voter and because the candidate can itself vote, right? So that is why maybe Kathy was a person who was standing in the election. So that is why we have such, you know, uh, entries. So the first thing that we should do is from these voting results, we should remove all those, you know, uh, where wherever your uh, candidate is null. Why? Because let's say if uh, I have an entry so for Kathy, right? So we just saw that Kathy did vote for four different people. Uh, but, you know, uh, there is one row where Kathy did not vote to anyone, right? So obviously the value of her vote is what? One divided by four because she voted for four different people. It is not going to be one divided by five, right? Because she did not vote here. It is just present in this table. So that is why if you drop all such rows, it does not matter because we need to calculate the total value of the votes and that is one divided by the total number of person you are voting for, right? So the first thing is let's uh, make a data frame called DF, right? So data frame called DF, which is going to be basically voting results, right? Voting results dot drop NA, right? So it will drop all these null values. And if I run this, right? So let me just run this. So now you will see that only you have the voter and the candidate. So wherever a person is voting for a particular candidate. Now then one, first we have this, then we need to calculate basic the value of the vote associated when a person is voting. And how can we do that? So firstly, we can say that, okay, for every voter, let's count the total number of candidates that he or she voted to, right? And then you can make a column that, okay, one divided by the total number of people that the person voted for will become that division will become the value of that particular person's vote. So what we can do is we make a different data frame DF2, which is basically take the initial data frame uh, and then group by the voter, right? Group by the voter and then take the candidate column right take the candidate column and perform a count right perform a count and then since we are grouping by voter then to have that as a column we need to reset index right 
now let me see what this gives us right so if i run this so now you have voter the so different voters and the so obviously this says candidate because we took the candidate column to count but you can you know rename it uh let's say uh, let let me rename it at so dot rename what do you want to rename columns and you need to provide the key value pair so let's rename candidate to uh number of people right number of people voted right uh let me run this again so you have voter and number of people this person voted for so obviously we can make another column called value right so let me just make another column called value which is basically what you just one divided by take the column number of people voted right you do this and then basically round this right so round this entire thing to three decimal places because this is what the question says right and then let me return df2 let's see what we have now so now you have alan this person voted for only one person so obviously one divided by one so the total value of the person's vote is one andrew voted for two people so one divided by two and so on so now you have for every voter what is the value of their votes right so now once you have the value of their votes then you can take this you know initial data frame voting results and then merge these two information so how basically you can merge on the uh, voter column right so you can take okay different candidates and these so ryan was voted by charles right what was the value of the vote of charles if you look at it uh, okay 0.333 so now this is how you see like how you can get the value of the every person that person voted for the value of their votes so what we can do is we can make another data frame let's say df3 and let's do pandas dot merge right pandas dot merge the first data frame could be df right so basically voting results drop na because that is what we are considering right so df and then second data frame could be this df2 right second can be df2 on you can take the voter column right because voter would be so in if you look at voting results right so you just drop the na so these rows are dropped so this uh, df would be having voter column df2 also has voter column right df2 also has voter column so on voter and how is equal to left right and uh, let's see what do we get here right so now you have voter candidate number of people voted and value but we don't require all this all we needed the candidate right and the uh, voter and the value right so what we can do is we can just provide a list you can you don't need to do it like it is just going to make this you know uh, longer but i'm just you know just for the sake of explanation i'm keeping these columns so candidate right you have candidate then you have voter and their value right so value of the vote uh, let me run this again so now you have various candidates who all voted and for every person what was the value of their vote so now once we have this then it is very simple from here on right so now here you can just go ahead group by the candidate and sum the value right to get for every candidate what is the total value of the votes that they received right so if i just go ahead and do group by right group by the candidate column right group by the candidate column take the value column and perform a sum right and then you do reset right reset index and let's store this is another data frame called df4 right and let's return df4 let's see what we have right so now you have various uh, candidates and the total value of the votes that they received so now once we have this then obviously like whoever so christine seems to have the highest value of votes that the person got right so then obviously you can do a boolean indexing but to do a boolean indexing firstly you need to rank also right so what we can do is we can rank so let's make a rank column which is basically going to do okay take df4 take the value column right and then use the rank method right so rank 
what is the method of ranking so you have you know dense method etc so dense is basically even if there is a tie right if two people have the same value right in the value column right it was not going to skip one rank right so the next person would be having rank two then three four etc so let's do that right so method dense and it does not matter actually but like let's use it uh, ascending is equal to false because we want the person with the maximum value to be at the top so that is rank one right and then let me return df4 let me run this again so now you have you know uh, various ranks associated and christine seems to be the person with the maximum number of votes right so now what we can do is we are required only to keep the person who got the maximum votes right so obviously their rank is going to be one so we can just go ahead and perform the boolean indexing that okay wherever your rank is equal equal to one right you just keep the candidate column right let me go ahead and run this so now you have candidate who has the multiple person and even if there are multiple people where there is you know rank is equal to equal to one so this is going to keep both of them so our query is generalized so now let me go ahead and submit to service passes all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in mysql okay so if you look at it again the same question table expected output is same as well and the table voting results also had the same values so what we can do is we can do the same stuff here that for every voter then we can calculate the value of their votes and then you know from this initial voting results we can go ahead and perform it right so what we can do is from this uh, you know uh, voting results let's keep only those columns right only those column columns where candidate is not null right candidate is not null and then group by right so group by the voter column right and then return the voter column and count the distinct candidate they voted for as number of people voted right let me go ahead and run this let's see what we get so various voters and the number of people that they voted for now obviously using this you can calculate the value directly here as well right so if you just make another column so actually you don't need the number of people voted you need the value of the vote right but just for the explanation purposes let let's keep this column as well and let me do the same thing but instead of doing this what i am doing is one divided by this entire thing right so that is going to give you the value right and then you need to round it to three decimal places so you just do round this entire thing to three decimal places right and then let's alias this as so as value right now uh value underscore whatever right so let me run this so now you have the value uh, of the voter associated with it right so now once we have this then what we can do is right so let's save this in a common table expression so with cte as right and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we can do is let's you know join the common table expression with this voting results right so from this voting results right so from this voting results table let's alias this as view left to join right so left to join the common table expression on v dot voter is equal to cte dot voter right so once you have this then again you are basically going to what have what so the voter candidate and the value of the vote related to the voter right so once you have this and then only keep those rows right so only keep those rows where v dot candidate is not null because again you know the same logic that we just explained let me you know let me just go ahead and keep the certain columns that are required so select right select um, let's keep the candidate right so let's keep the v dot candidate column let's keep the voter right so let's keep the voter and also let's keep the value of the uh, vote right so it is going to be in ct so ct dot value underscore 
uh, let me run this right so let's see what we have so you have candidate voter and the value of the to vote associated with it so now once you have this then what you can do is you can just group by right you can group by the a candidate and sum the value right so you can do the same thing here right so from this voting results join left join cte on this keep only those columns where candidate is not null and then you do group by right so group by so this is what i showed is what you have after performing a join right so now group by v dot candidate return v dot candidate and basically do a sum of sum of ct dot value as total vote value right so total vote value let me go ahead and run this again right so if you have so okay ryan has this much christine has this much etc so now what we can do is we can save this in another common table expression now you might be thinking why can't we do order by total va vote value in decreasing manner and then limit to one that is not going to be a general solution why because let's say so here there is 0.001 difference in the total vote value of ryan and christine but what if let's say the value was same right so if you do limit one you are assuming that there can be only one winner but the question says that output the name of candidate or multiple names in case of a tie so there can be multiple winners if you know there is a tie so you cannot go the limit route so the best way to do is using a subquery or you can go by ranking as well but subquery method is a easier one so let's save this in another common table expression called cte2 this entire thing goes into parentheses as well right and then what we can do is from this common table expression to let's keep only those rows where total vote value is equal to that is select maximum value from the total vote value column from common table expression to right and then you return the name of the candidate okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what we get so candidate name is christine which is you know uh, exactly same as our expected output now let me go ahead and submit to this passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question but you know we need to make sure that it has certain steps in it that is for each of the voter we calculated the value of the vote and then for each of the candidate that the people voted for we try to get that okay these many people voted but actually what was the value of their vote and for every candidate what is the total sum of the value of the votes that they received and then we kept only those rows or candidate only those candidates whose value of the votes was maximum right so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video